So here I am, now in Fort William, which is where I'm staying, that's called Fort William Backpackers. And uh, I'm not going to attempt to climb Ben Nevis, um, but I am going to go and uh, climb Cow Hill from where I should be able to get some nice views of Ben Nevis. So I'm just going to cross this road now, hopefully I'll get run over. Burnt to out already, there they go. Right, so here we go. So I'm on Cow Hill. I've been walking maybe in 15 minutes. Um, some steep inclines, but not too bad. Um, there's the view so far. It's pretty nice. I'm already thankful for this little bit of uh, straight path that I've got ahead of me. But I am also aware that I've got to get up there somehow. So it is uh, definitely going to uh, get harder for me running. One thing this has already taught me is that I'm in no fit shape to even begin contemplating Ben Nevis because I might as well be knackered already <laughs> out of breath should I say uh, but it was always like that in uh, Southeast Asia when we used to go climbing the hills and the mountains uh, it's always tough at the start and then you you seem to get into it so that's what I'm hoping will happen here or maybe I'm just even more unfit than I was in Southeast Asia I didn't think that would be possible but uh, Apparently when we get to the top up here, there's some really cool views, uh, not just over this side, um, but at the uh, other side as well, it looks out to Ben Nevis, so I might get to see Ben Nevis, if not climb it. Uh, so yeah, onwards and upwards. So I've been going for about 35 minutes now, um, I don't seem to be getting any closer to the top. I've been walking for quite a while on this long uh, straight path, which just seems to be going on. Uh, forever basically but the views are already amazing so I'm looking forward to what they're going to be like once I get up there um, I'll just be silent for a second just so you can hear what I'm listening to right now silence occasional bird tweeting you can hear some running water there's a couple of streams coming down the side of the hill um, but that's pretty much it like I say it does feel like I've got the whole place to myself I've seen one person walking a dog a couple of sheep and um, that's about it so I don't know how long this walk is going to take me I'm hoping that ahead isn't cow hill I'm pretty sure it's not because uh, that looks beyond my abilities I think I just need to get up there basically and once I get up there then the um, the route kind of circles back round on itself and brings me back. But there is another route which heads towards Ben Nevis, um, which I may, I may go on. I'll see how I feel when I get up there. Um, but it's 10.30 in the morning. I've been on this trail now for about half an hour. Uh, I'm not sure how long it takes to get to the top. I think I read somewhere that it was just over an hour or something. But uh, at some point I will need to start going up. Maybe at the end of that path it just turns left and maybe that's how I get to the top of Cow Hill I don't know I know I'm on the right path because I've just seen a sign telling me that this is the Cow Hill Trail um, so I'm just gonna keep on going hopefully uh, I can get all my walking done before the rain that's forecast for today I mean the sun's out it's not very windy at all it's quite I bought my scarf, my gloves and everything uh, so I'm walking around, as you can see, with my coat undone it's actually, you know, once you move in you get quite warm anyway um, it's probably colder up there um, so yeah, it, it is forecast to rain and snow today but according to the BBC weather that's not uh, while well, about 2 o'clock this afternoon so that gives me uh, three and a half hours to uh, get all my walking done and I'll probably uh, have a walk down into the town itself i have not actually seen Fort William yet so I'll probably go down there I need to buy some deodorant because I've lost mine I lost it two days ago and I've just every time I've gone into a supermarket or a shop I've forgotten to buy it um, and my armpits are beginning to smell like onions so uh, that's a, an essential uh, thing for me to do today is to go and buy some deodorant after I've finished walking around this amazing place so I'm almost at the top now uh, I've come off the uh, Cow Hill Trail and I've come up this path 
which is the leads me to the Cow Hill summit. So this is one way up and down. I don't know how far it is. It says 1.6 kilometres to get to the top. Uh, I think the top's just up there, so I think I've probably done most of it. Um, hopefully the views will be uh, really good from up there. In fact, I know they're going to be because just here alone is just stunning. Look at that. I think that one might be Ben Nevis, I don't know, or that one over there. I know Ben Nevis is to the right of me, but I don't know which, which one it is. I mean, if it's not that one, it means that Ben Nevis is bigger than that one. In which case, there's no way I would be climbing that. Uh, but I'm not disappointed. Um, you know, Ben Nevis, it would say it's about between seven and seven to nine hours to get to the top and back. Um, when it's like this, it's just not recommended that you even attempt it. There was uh, a couple of people died last week and no one in the hostel, uh, I mean everyone who was in the hostel is basically here to go hiking and to go climbing and stuff like that. It's not a party town at all. Um, but when I said, has anyone been up Ben Nevis? And they were all like, no, it's, it's not happening. The weather warnings are out, the, the people have been told, don't even try to get up there. So. I think, I'm not sure whether it's this, because I've got this one here, and then that one, which is obviously bigger, but then there's the one over there. So it's either that one or that one, I think. Might even be the same one, I don't know. So I'm not climbing it, but I'm certainly enjoying looking at it. Right, let's get to the top of Cow Hill then. Well, I thought I was uh, close to the summit, but it turns out I was nowhere near it. So I've just had another, I reckon probably another kilometre walk to get here. And uh, yep, from the other side we've got the views of the uh, mountains, which might or might not be Ben Nevis. I think it is Ben Nevis. And over here, I hope the wind's not too bad. Um, it's only a slight breeze, but you never know with these uh, action cams. So this is the view over uh, Fort William. Oh, Morrison's down there in the train station. That's where I got my lunch yesterday. Um, so this looks like a, a good halfway point. So I'm going to sit down now and uh, eat a sandwich, a banana. I really want to drink all the water I've got, but I can't because I think I'm going to be needing it because I've still got quite a lot of walking to do. So yeah, it's time to chill out. Not a bad place to eat a sandwich. So I've um, got back onto the cow trail and then I uh, got to a point where the cow trail continued and then there was the peat trail and that kind of seems to be heading more towards uh, the Ben Nevis mountain range. So I decided to come down there and then I got literally 100 yards down there and the peat trail continues and then I saw this little walkway that goes through the woods. So I'm not exactly sure where this goes. Um, I mean, I, how could I resist not walking through here? So, I might get lost from here on in, so let's see what we find. Still doing alright for time, it's, uh, it's, not been, it's not rained at all. I have no idea where this has taken me, but it looks amazing, it's so green in here. I've not come across any bears. I don't know how long this goes on for, it might go on for miles for all I know. I guess if I get to another point where there's a, a choice of direction then uh, I might have to turn back because uh, this is not on any map. But this is, this is amazing. I know what's going to happen, I'm just, I'm going to carry on walking through here and then at some point I'm just, it's going to uh, come to a clearing and I'm going to be stood at the bottom of Ben Nevis or something and it's just going to be amazing. I'm hoping that's what's going to happen anyway, we shall see. Seriously, how cool is this? It's so beautiful in here. So quiet. I've not seen anyone at all in this part. A little bit slippery, so I've got to watch my step. Um, I don't think this is actually going to go very far. I think it actually is. Uh, see this uh, just down there? It, it comes to a bend here. 
So I think it's just a little walkway through the forest, which was, uh, so I'm glad I came in here because it's really, really nice, peaceful, very green. Um, at some point I'm hoping that it does reveal the mountains as well because I'm getting lower and lower now. So it'd be nice to look up at the mountains rather than uh, looking, uh, well, across at them. It's very wet around here, as you can imagine. Never ever expected, you know, I, I thought I'll go to Edinburgh, maybe Glasgow. That's the thing I love about travel, is just, you just never know where you're going to end up. Okay, so I've walked all this way along here to this place, which I'm guessing is some kind of viewpoint. Watch it be locked. <laughs> Would you believe it? Well, it wasn't a waste of time because it was a very nice walk anyway. But um, yeah, um, no other option now but to uh, walk back. So here we go. So I'm on the high street now in Port Melbourne. Um, I guess when people say that Portland has not very got much to offer, they're probably speaking about the high street. Because uh, there's pretty much just your standard high street so far. Boots, the Great Smiths, banks, oh. charity shops. It's got to be a coffee shop around there somewhere. So I just found another coffee shop, Cafe 115. It looks like it's closed down. Which is a shame, especially when you look on the other side of the street and you've got a Costa coffee there. Uh, busy as always. Weatherspoon, definitely not going in there. Who's this guy? Do you know where there's a coffee shop around here? No, not very helpful. Well, that's the end of the high street. Obviously, people in Port William don't go out for a coffee. I think I know why this guy was smirking because I asked him for directions to the coffee shop and then I carried on walking to the end of the high street um, and apparently there's a vegan coffee shop right at the start of the high street and I think this guy knew he just wasn't there so I'm going to go to the vegan coffee shop now Okay, so I found the uh, vegan shop it's on the main high street it's not where it said it was on Google Maps but I found it and it's uh, very nice, good coffee and nice place 